Yo, what up, guys? Dotcast back to you guys. Call me Mr. Dotcast, and I'm back with another video. I am here with my Watkins Glen haul, and let me tell you, boys, it is going to be a doozy of a haul. This is probably one of the biggest hauls on YouTube. Um, definitely the biggest haul I've ever got from a track from Watkins Glen International. Went there from uh, Thursday through uh, Sunday. I was supposed to leave on Monday, but <clears throat> things just happened. But got a lot of diecast to show you guys, and most of these should be getting reviewed on the channel. Um, all the new ones will be getting reviewed on the channel. But yeah, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you went to Watkins Glen, let me know down in the comments, and then uh, tag me to what you guys got. But yeah, let's get right into this video. Uh, we're gonna be starting with uh, 124 scale diecast cars that I got. Um, got really good deals on all of these. Um. But let's see, the first one we're going to start off with, let's see, which one do we want to start off with? There's just so many. Okay, first one we're going to start off with, we're going to start off with Brian Vickers, number 55, Aaron's Scheme Machine. This car is uh, his 2014 Camry, one of 751. Um, sorry about that, didn't mean to drop you guys there, but open up the thing take the car out of the packaging you guys see there is the uh brian vickers machine um really like this machine got this one for 20 bucks yep 20 bucks for 55 machine these big cars will also be getting reviewed um picked up quite a bit of the big cars because they came for uh, really good deals so yeah i had to pick up that Really good die cast there, and uh, yeah, let me put it right back in the box, and I'll be right back. And we're back, guys. Um, now the next car that we got, I actually got this one at the track. Um, this one was only forty bucks at the track. It's the Tyler Reddick Sinoco rookie car. I'm not gonna take this one out of the package, but you guys can see what it is. It's his rookie car. Um, forty bucks for this one. Really good die cast. Really happy I got this one. Um, uh, yeah, found this one with the track 40 bucks, really cool. This is back of the box. I'll be doing more of the reviews for these, um, coming up whenever I do the videos, but definitely a ton of die cast. Now, the next one we're going to get into is Jeff Gordon's uh, car. This is gonna, this one is Jeff Gordon's number 24 car. 2014 is SS, one of 709, and uh, this die cast is uh, probably easily one of my favorites by far. Um, this was the first one I picked up out of the whole entire bunch. Sorry for that loud noise, guys. As you can see, there is the die cast right there, the 124 scale Jeff Gordon car. Really love the colors on this bad boy. Um, really happy I got this one too. I got I believe I picked up um, most of these die cast 124s at the same exact place, all for 20 bucks. Um, the three for 20 guy, he was there. Uh, mean Motorsports, I believe they are called. Go check those guys out. They have really great deals. Um, they don't go to every single track. The three for 20 guys don't. But hey, they can do the next big car that I got is the Dale Earnhardt Jr. car. Um, this, I believe, is 2006. 2007 Monte Carlo car. Um, this one is just a beaut, too. I love the box on this one. Um, saw this one. I was like, hey, I had to have it. And then there is the car right there. Really love this Budweiser car for uh, Jr., um, we did pick up we did pick up two autograph cars, but as you guys can see right there, twenty bucks for that car as well. Um, my goal coming into this was to try to find as much as I could for really good prices, and I made some deals too. Got one of the cars five dollars off, which I'll be showing that one probably last. Now the next one I got is probably my favorite one out of all the one twenty fours that I picked up, and this one is there was only one of these at the whole entire place. The Kevin Harvick Reese's car. From 2007 is Impala. This car is just a beaut. I love this one. Um, this one uh, was the first one I saw that caught my eye. Um, there's only one of these though. Um, get out rid of all this. And there she is. 
Really beautiful car. I can't wait to review this one and put it in the case. Um, if you guys are wondering how many big cars I did pick up, I picked up eight big cars, 124 scale cars, um, cause I need to try to fill my thing. I am two spots shy. I could have got a lot more big cars if I wanted, but I really want, I got a ton of 164 scale cars. Um, not all new, only a handful of them are newer ones. Now this car, next one I got, I went to the New Hampshire race last year. And you know, guy, you guys know my favorite guy is Brad Kozlowski. And he won it, so I decided to get the 2020 race winner standard finish from New Hampshire. Really beautiful die cast right there. One of 528. Really love that one. Now, the next one I got, you know, the last two I got here are both autographs. Um, there was only one of this guy that was autographed. Got it for 25 bucks. Michael Waltrip's 2008 Napa Auto Parts car. Um, open it up right here. Got the, all the authentication stuff right here. You guys can see all the authentication and stuff. Take that out. And this one actually did, was undone already. So here is the Michael Waltrip car. Very beautiful. There is the Michael Waltrip autograph. Picked this one up for 25 bucks. Um, most of them I picked up for 20 and 25. I got one that was 55, which is the Kozlowski car. And then I did pick up one that was $85, but I got $5 off because I made a deal. got it for 80 bucks. Um, and which I'll be showing next. It's actually my favorite pickup of the whole entire trip. And it is another autograph. But not a Kozlowski autograph. I already have a Kozlowski autograph car, as you guys already know. Um, but the racing was pretty good at the track. And all, I really liked it there. Um, but here's the final car that I got. I got it for 80 bucks. I got it autographed. It is Dale Art Jr.'s 2015 Baja Blast car. I'll take this one out of the package for you guys just to show you the autograph. Um, so here it is. It is in this thing still, the Baja Blast car. You see the uh, Junior autograph is right there. As you guys can see, it was $85. Got it for $80. Really, really happy with this. Uh, this was the last big car I did pick up. Um, because I got around 70 something 164 scale cars this weekend. Yeah, you heard me right about 70 something. Um, I went big, I spent about six hundred and about fifty dollars at Watkins Glen. But now further to do, let's get right into all the stuff you guys have been waiting for, the 164 scale. So the first 164 scale car, I got a winter circle pit road car, Dale Earnhardt Sr. Picked this car up for three bucks. At the same time where I got most of the 124 scale cars. You see right there. Very, 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 very beautiful die cast. Really happy with this one. Um, really shocked. I got I see a lot of these that I picked up. So a lot of them I got for three bucks. Another one I got for three bucks is a winter circles number 19. I believe this is Jeremy Mayfield. Um, but yeah, I got this uh, All-Star Game an NHL car. Very, very, very cool. Really love the paint scheme on this. And I got most of these ones because I like the paint scheme of the car. Now, another one I got is another one I got for 3 bucks: The Winter Circle Nilla Wafers car um, for uh, Dale Jr. Very, very, very beautiful car. I really love all these cars. I might be saying that a lot, but hey. Three bucks, you can't beat it. Three bucks is three bucks. Um, I did go broke this weekend, though. I did go broke. Now, the next one is a throwback to Dale Earnhardt Sr. Um, and it is Kevin Harvick's uh, number 29 uh, Chevy. Um, very, I, I almost said very beautiful again. Uh, but, yeah, very cool car. If you guys uh, um, want me to see reviews on some of these cars, I might open up some of these. I probably won't open up these ones. But the ones that are in the box, quick ones right there, boom. That's all I'm showing you guys for that. But yeah, if you guys want to do reviews, the newer ones will be getting reviewed, of course. Now this one I picked up for uh, five dollars. Um, or actually, no, I picked it up for three for five. These were three for five. Here's the first one, Derek Cope, I believe. I don't know. I just picked it up because it was three for five, and I don't have any old trucks. Um, but yeah, my voice is starting to go, which is not good. Um, but yeah, um, uh, really good weekend and all. Uh, there's a lot of good die casts here, like this one right here, Jeff Gordon Dupont. 
Really, really love this car. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel too, guys, if you want to see more of this. Um, I will be buying more next year. Probably more than I got this year, shockingly. Now, this one was one of my favorites for three bucks. It is a Kevin Harvick ET car. Now, you guys cannot tell me that this thing is not beautiful. Absolute beaut of a paint scheme, I believe, in my eyes. Um, this one I got because I love the paint scheme on this one. Here's the Batman vs. Joker car. Here's the Joker. Number 28, Vaveline. Got these off for three bucks, remember? Now, this one I also love. This Jeremy Mayfield car. It is the old Mountain Dew Blackout car. Check out that right there. Very, very, very beautiful car. Um, got this one. Three bucks, obviously. Another one I picked up for three bucks. I know this is weird, but I've never owned a regular Dale Senior car. So I had to get one of the good old ones. Um, I actually believe I got this one five for 20 because they were selling five for 20s at another tent. Um, but yeah, here's another one of the trucks I got. Three for five dollars. Number 84, Joe Rudiman. Really cool die cast right there. Then the last one I got, three for five, is this truck right here, the number 24 truck. Quaker State. I don't know anything much about these old truck series, guys. Um, but yeah. Now the next one I got up um, is the Ar Arnold Palmer UPS car for Dale Jarrett. Love that paint scheme right there. And speaking of the 88 Dale Jarrett, Dale Jarrett cars, I got this one 5 for 20. I've been looking for this car everywhere. And I finally got it, the Dale Jarrett UPS car. Um, I almost bought it in big form, but like, eh, I don't really want it. Um, but I got it in little form, which is all I cared about. So uh, shout out for that. That was amazing. And then there's one of these older cars I got for three bucks that I was stoked about. That'll be coming up in a little bit. I got another Dale Senior car here. The patriotic Dale Senior. Another car. Really beautiful. I got this one five for twenty as well at Watkins Glen. Um and then here's a little uh dual pack. We got Dale Jr.'s Coca-Cola one car. And to go along with it for $3, why not, why not? You have to get one of them. You got to get the other one, Dale. Senior's Coca-Cola car. Um, really, really love these paint schemes right here. I like the Earnhardt one a little, little, little bit more. Um, then we got this one right here. I really love the paint scheme on this one. The Jeff Gordon Superman car. Look at that decal right there, box art. And then I got this one just for the memes. Um, the, uh, Mark Barton Viagra car. Um, I was just thinking, imagine, like, you're in a store and your son wants, or, like, a little kid, five-year-old kid goes, Mom, I want this car. And you look at it, and it's like, okay. And then you say, oh, wait, there's Viagra on the car. Uh, and he's an old man. Uh, it's kind of twisted. Um, but, hey, the kid wants the kid wants it. Now, the last three I got are all of the, uh, Hot Wheels pit crew ones. So I picked up this one, the Jerry Nadu. Um, one with the pit box. Got this one for three bucks. I also picked up the Michael Waltrip 2021 Sicko one for three bucks. And then the last one of these I picked up before we get into the newer stuff, kind of newer, um, is the Pit Crew Limited Edition car for the number 12, uh, Jerry Mayfield. Um,. But yeah, I feel like I'm missing one. Um, I'll be right back because I want to go find it unless it's in this pile somewhere. But I'll be right back. And lo and behold, I found it as the Jeremy Mayfield number 12 car. Um, got this one in the 5 for 20 as well. UP uh, Mobile One car. So yeah, now we're getting into all the newer stuff, kind of newer stuff that were for 3 bucks. Now, I really love getting program cars. So these next couple ones you're going to see are going to be program cars. But here is the 2017 Dover program car. I really, really, really like this car. The one thing I don't like about these newer program cars is the wheels. Like, that's, I don't really don't like the wheels as much. Set that one back there. Now, the next one we got for $3 is the 2011 limited edition Tony Stewart Mobile One car. Pick that one up because I love the way it looks. Next one we got is a 2013 uh, Brad Sweet car. This pink does not do any justice on the camera, but this baby is hot pink, I tell you. 
Um, good thing I picked this up when I did because another guy was asking where I got it, and I just told him, I said, I got it right there. He goes, is there any more? And I go, I have no idea. He goes, uh, are you buying that one? And I go, yeah. And then he goes, oh, man. And then he uh, walked away, and I felt kind of bad. He was another gentleman, but, um, yeah, got it for three bucks. Can't complain there. Another one I got for three bucks is the class of 2011 car. Um, there was a 2012 one there, too, but I just decided to not pick that one up. Didn't really need it. I believe there's Richard Pretty on the front right there. Pretty cool. Uh, now, another one I picked up. Now, this one I'm really stoked I picked up. There was only one of these. And if any of you guys were at Watkins Glen, I'm sorry that I was there on Friday and picked this up because you guys would have stoked out if you saw it. Yes, there was one of these there, the Kevin Harvick Ink car. This is, um, I believe, Elliot Sadler. Yeah, I don't know how much these go for, but I know these are pretty rare to find. There's only one of them for three bucks. So I was like, hey, well, I might be sounding like an idiot right now if it's not rare, but hey, if it's rare, let me know down in the comments. I thought it was rare. I think it's rare, but if it's not, then I feel like an idiot. But hey, I thought it was a rare car, and I was going to get it anyways. So yeah, the uh, Elliot Sadler tap out car. Now, another one I got is another 2011 Impala, and it is Kevin Harvick's uh, Budweiser car in the black. And now, uh, now with this next Kevin Harvick car, 2011 car, I feel like an idiot because I didn't read the logo. I accidentally got the kids' version when it says Kevin Harvick on the side as the fireball. But hey, I really don't care because it's going to be staying in the box. And the paint scheme is basically all the same as it is. And I can just get the other one next year if I want. Um, not a big deal to me. I really don't care, honestly. But yeah, now another one I got. For three dollars is the uh, Happy Holidays car. I see this one a lot online. Um, for around the same price, and I saw it in person. I'm like I'm just gonna get it now, so we want to get it online. Um, good thing I didn't there. Now I got another 2011 car here. This box is pretty cool. It is the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Mountain Dew car. I really, really, really like this car. Now I might not be starting to talk as much, guys, because my voice is starting to kill me. The next car I picked up is Danica Patrick's 2016 SS Aspen Dental Car. Um, don't know why I picked this one up, honestly. I just saw it and I was like, I'll take it. Don't really know why it was there. Picked up. Let me know if you guys went shopping down in the town of the Gypsy Tents. That's where you got to go to get your 164 scale die casts. Uh, now, the next one I believe is a 2013 Jeff Gordon car. I liked it because there was a credit card on the front. And I swear I'm not a Jeff Gordon fan. He just has a lot of. Uh, Weird paint schemes, I guess. Um, now, the next one I got is an actually an older one that I missed. I didn't even realize I missed it, but it's a older Kevin Harvick car. Really cool car. I like that one a lot. That one go up there. And, yeah, guys, I'm filming this midway through the night. I am dead exhausted. Next up to pick up is Trevor Bain 2013 Mustang. Three bucks as well. All these cars I'm showing you, remember, are $3.00. Now we picked up a number 31 2013 Jeff Burton. This one was in the five for 20 deal. Now I got another track program car for three bucks. It is a 2014 Pocono car. Really glad I got that one. Now this one I really, really wanted. I'm glad I got it. It is a 2013 Jeff Gordon drive to, drive to End Hunger car. Really love the orange in this. On this paint scheme. And then we got another 2013 car. It is the Eric Amarola STP car. And we got another 2013 car. It is another 33 Austin Dillon car. And I might be doing reviews on all these soon. Um, now, I don't know if my friend Brendan got this one or not, but um, there was only one of them. But if there were two of them, I was going to pick it up for him. But it's the 2017 Charlotte car, um, Coca Cola 600 car. Three bucks here as well. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent car. And we got another program car here is the Martinsville 2016 car. I really love this paint scheme. I almost passed up on it, but then the second day I was down in the town, I was like, I can't. I really love this paint scheme. Gotta get it now. But yeah, I um, believe it's an, uh, is that a Toyota body or is that a Ford body? It's one of the two. 
Um, then we got another 2012 car, and this one is uh, the uh, Ryan Newman Tornadoes paint scheme. Yeah, I really did get about 70 cars. I counted. Um, just around 70 at least, if not. Now we got a 2013 Ricky Stenhouse car for uh, EcoBoost. It's 2013 Fusion. And we got another uh, 2013. Um, whoa, I did not notice that. This says 213 on it. doesn't even say 2013. 213 Fusion. Does it say it on this? No, they got a misprint, boys. Oh, yeah. Look at that right there, guys. Huge misprint. Didn't even notice. Really glad I picked it up now. Um, but it's the Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Cancer car. Um, really, really, really love this paint scheme. Now you can really say about it. Overall, really good I hate that they're on those bodies there. But, hey, just staying in the box, most likely. Now, this one, I had to pick it up. Too bad his face got covered by a sticker. But it is Josh Wise's uh, Lionel Racing number seven car. Now I picked up a lot of the cars that they only had one of because I was there on the first day. Um, but the last one of the older ones, the not the non-current ones, is the uh, 22 uh, Joey Logano Nationwide Hertz car. Now for what all you guys have been waiting for. The 2020 and 2021 cars. I got most of these from the 3 for 20 guy. Also got a couple at the track. Which if you got them at the track. I see why. If you're newer. Or if you're just younger. You don't really know what you're doing. Um, but they're $12 at the track. Not worth it. Because I got three of them for 20 That they had at the track. So instead of spending like $32. I spent $20. Bucks. Um, but the first one I picked up. I got on the second day. I almost didn't pick it up. It was the Austin Cindric car. Uh, Xfinity Championship car. Picked that one up at the town. Those little gypsy tents. And then uh, another one I picked up on the second day was the 23 Jimmy Johns throwback Brett Moffat truck that he almost won the championship in. Which I thought would have been a really cool card to win the championship in. But hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, and now another one of the cars I got three for 20. Uh, it's a 2019 car. It's Alex Bowman's Planters car. Really, really love this paint scheme. Season 1, the 88 car will be driven um, by a bunch of different guys. Another car I picked up for the 3 for 20. Chase Briscoe's High Point car. I really, really wanted to pick up this car. Really glad I got it. Don't believe they had these down in the, at the track. Chase Briscoe car. Picked it up though. Now another car I got three for twenty. Was the Noah Gregson Bass Pro Shop car. You guys know he's my favorite Xfinity driver, so had to pick up this car to go along with the hauler. Very beautiful car right there though. I also picked up this Willie B Liberty University 2021 car. Three for twenty deal. I love these new boxes in person. They're probably my favorite car so far out of all of them. Uh, the William Byron Exalta car. I just really, really, really love its paint scheme. And I also, this car, like that cast about today, said this car will probably dry up quick. So I picked up at the track, I believe. This one was 10, 12, something like that. Um, There's the Kyle Busch Skittle Zombies car. They didn't have this one down in the town, so I decided to get it down at the track. Found this one down in the town. Haley Deegan's number 17 truck. Really, really love this one. Very, 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 very beautiful car. Or truck, I should say. And this is the first Ford truck that they've made in the Gold Series, I believe. I could be completely stupid right now, but I believe so. Um, I believe, I believe. Now, I picked up this another 21 car. Uh, Chase Lights Napa Auto Parts car. Now, of course, I wouldn't have picked it up if this yellow swoosh wasn't here at the bottom, but since it was, so it means it's a different one. So I had to pick it up. 
Now, I know I, I've never actually owned one of these Denny Hamlin cards except for one in Authentics. I'm not opening it up. Denny Hamlin's FedEx Express car. So now instead of using the old car, this is what I've been using for the past couple years. The old 2017 car. I can finally use this one now. Thank the Lords and baby Jesus. Really happy now about that. Um, now I got this car at the tra at the haulers. Really glad I did. Um, it is the knighted for you Dale Earnhardt Jr. car. I believe we'll be racing this at Richmond. Coming up here. And no, I do not sell my cars. Um, just don't. I keep them. And make sure to like, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more of what's going on. Another Xfinity car I picked up. Justin Allgaier's branded car that just got released. Now one of the cars I couldn't find online that I really wanted, or that I couldn't find at the track that I really wanted to get was the Corolla Joy car. Well, I just, I literally, when I got home, I ordered it. So, don't gotta worry about that. That'll be coming in the mail soon. Um, the other car I picked up that I almost passed up on, got the second day I was down in the town, was the Sheldon Creed Champion truck. Of course, I got the Chase Elliott. I got two Chase Elliott championship cars in Authentics form. Really, really love this truck. Next car I picked up was Myatt Snyder's, Myatt Snyder's number two Tax Slayer car. We have eight more die casts to go through, guys. Just eight more. Oh, the next car I got was the Joey Logano Shell Pennzoil Platinum car from 2021. I've never owned a Platinum car. So that'll be really nice. Now Joey Logano has three paint schemes to run throughout the season for this Cup Series. Now, one of my favorite cars I picked up um, was Christopher Bell's 2021 Ream car. Really, really love the Eric Jones paint schemes. Now, I also really wanted to get this car because he never actually really had a car that got released. And it is Cole Custer's uh, Haas tooling car. Down to the final five. The next one I got was Chase Light's Luminar car. Didn't really like this car at first. And now when I'm seeing it in person, I actually really like it now. I don't know why I like it on the 9 car. I just really, really like it a lot more. I feel like the single number does it a lot just a lot of justice. Down to the final four cars. The next car is the program car. It is the 20. Yeah, they didn't do have 2021 cars because they had to use these ones from last year because they didn't add, end up having it. But it is the 2020 Watkins Glen Gold Bowling at the Glen car. This one was $5.00. I don't believe they had 2021 cars there, but um, I checked every single place at the track. None of them had it. Um, now, I got these other three at the haulers. Sadly, because they didn't have them down in the town. The Chase Elliott Hooters um, car. Never actually owned a black Hooters one. I've always owned the old one with the white. Two more to go. Another one we got. I really actually love this paint scheme. The 2021 um, Christopher Bell Craftsman car, Toyota Camry. And the last car, this huge, like, 70 car haul, 70 plus car haul, not counting the 124s, the Bubble Wallace DoorDash car. Now, I, there was a 2311 car there, but for 12 bucks, I'm not paying 12 bucks for a car that doesn't even run on the track. Waste of money to me. Um, but the DoorDash car, absolute beautiful paint scheme. I love it now. Um, glad I have it. But yeah, this is everything right here. You got tons of them up there. Piling up, we got all the big cars and the huge pile of them right there. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a 30 minute video. So thank you guys for staying around and tuning in for this awesome video. This is the biggest haul I've ever saw coming out of Watkins Glen. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. They'll be doing reviews on all these cars you see right in front of you. Yes, all of them. There'll be more cars coming out online too. Make sure you never miss a video. This is your boy, I got some panic too. You guys can call me Mr. Diecast. And I'm signing out. Love y'all. Peace.